and make sure that every week you are doing this so let's say if you are able to let's say accommodate let's say 500 odd message across the corresponding month there is a good chance that somebody will definitely refer you and if their referral worked and the hr actually liked your profile you will be able to get a shortlist call back first of all try to make connections both to recruiters senior engineers and junior engineers of a particular company let's say if you send 100 odd requests there is a good chance that at least 5% of them will list once done then you need to do all of your homework you need to form a very concise and a very nice message telling who are you why you are good fit for a particular role and which role you want a referral for but that's not the best part the best part is you can in i would say start getting notifications from linkedin as well so you can enable notifications on a particular set of a filter and daily linkedin is going to send you notifications on your email what this helps you to do is this helps you to avoid the hassle of daily searching for new jobs altogether plus you need to have your github updated as well you need to ensure that whatever you are doing even a small project big project whatever you are doing you are putting everything on github this shows that you are an active contributor this shows that you are an active learner you are learning new technologies altogether getting a job in this tough market can be a pretty exhausting exercise but nowadays we have a lot of interesting platforms like linkedin which can really help you to ease out the complete process of applying to a job but in this complete procedure of applying to a job the biggest friction that a lot of people actually see is how to know whether there is a hiring going on or not a lot of people think that okay i was not even aware that okay this particular company was hiring how do we know whether this company is hiring or not and so on and so forth so in this particular video with some very straight forward and simple points i am going to summarize the fact that how you can be up to date with the job trends and the upcoming jobs in the market what are some of the key things that you can use in platforms like linkedin that can ensure that your next job search is as easy as possible and what are some of the takeaways that you can keep in mind while applying to your next job so the video let's just start but before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing it because we are going to put some really awesome content here coming up ahead so let's just start so before moving forward in the video i have an important announcement for you so if you are somebody who is actually willing to learn advanced backend technologies then this is going to be the right platform for you so at algo camp we have launched our new flagship lambda 4.0 advanced live backend development batch in which you are going to learn advanced backend technologies including fastify express js aws mongo dynamo db and what not This is going to be a power packed course in which we are going to take you from the very scratch very basics of backend technologies to the very advanced level by building a lot of interesting projects. We are going to build projects like Code Sandbox clone, we are going to build streaming app which which will include recorded movie streaming plus live streaming as well. We are going to make applications like booking.com backend which is going to help you understand transactional capabilities, integrations of payment gateways and many more. all the important projects that we are going to cover in the course is going to be listed here and this is going to be an absolute live course where we are going to take live classes right and in these live classes we are going to do hands on coding experience to learn all the important advanced backend technologies you already know that backend is something that every important application needs and you can actually excel your software engineering career with these backend tech in the node js stack so what are you waiting for all the important links the complete syllabus curriculum all the details of the course is present in the description section below you can use the coupon code coming up here to get maximum discount off on the current price i'm really excited for the course i hope you guys are too and now let's get back to the video now hands down one straight forward point is that in 2025 linkedin as a platform should be at least your top solution or your only go to platform if you want to apply or use more platforms it's absolutely your choice but linkedin is something that you should definitely try to focus on on platforms like linkedin it has evolved so much as a social platform and as a job opportunity platform that most of the people that you see if you go to their profile one of the jobs in their profile will be marked as help me getting this job and if linkedin is helping so many people it can definitely help you as well there are so many interesting features on linkedin that you can actually leverage in order to make sure that you are able to get right opportunities on time first is the complete filter available on linkedin now what linkedin ensures is that you can try to search for dedicated set of companies and you can use these filters in order to filter out the corresponding jobs but that's not the best part the best part is you can in i would say 
start getting notifications from LinkedIn as well. So you can enable notifications on a particular set of a filter and daily LinkedIn is going to send you notifications on your email. What this helps you to do is this helps you to avoid the hassle of daily searching for new jobs altogether. Right. If somebody is already sending you a notification, that should be something that is going to make things extremely simple for you. Apart from that, there are a lot of communities on Telegram and Discord. What people actually do there is people actually try to post about some upcoming jobs. For example, at Algo Camp in most of our batches, what we have is we have a opportunities channel. Whenever I am scrolling on LinkedIn and I see that, okay, some particular recruiter, some particular engineering manager, some particular company is hiring for a specific role. I take a screenshot of that particular post and share on my Discord channel, right? Now there are similar Discord channels and similar Telegram groups which are doing the same things. They are just ensuring the fact that they increase the awareness about these tech jobs. So all you have to do is just try to join these Discord channels, Telegram channels and make sure you are up to date altogether. This is going to ensure that at least you are not missing the application procedure and you know which are the set of people who will be right to refer you for the corresponding job role. So again, LinkedIn is going to directly help you. Apart from that, on LinkedIn, what you can actually do is you can try to reach out to a lot of recruiters. You can try to cold message the recruiters. Now, a lot of people think that you need LinkedIn premium for that. Yes, LinkedIn premium gives you a lot of free messages and everything, but I believe you should not start with LinkedIn premium. LinkedIn premium is only for those people who actually know how to use LinkedIn very thoroughly. Even I didn't use the premium part when I was actually trying to get my first tech job. So I believe even in the free plan, you get, I guess, four to five messages. Try to use those messages in the most wise manner as possible. First of all, try to make connections, both to recruiters, senior engineers and junior engineers of a particular company. Let's say if you send 100 odd requests, there is a good chance that at least 5% of them will request. Once done, then you need to do all of your homework. You need to form a very concise and a very nice message telling who are you, why you are good fit for a particular role and which role you want a referral for. Or let's say which role you want a recommendation for. You should have the job ID or the job link that you should attach in the message and you should attach your latest up-to-date resume along with that message. And maybe try to send to those five people. Do the same exercise for let's say 50 odd companies. That means approximately 250 people you have messaged. And make sure that every week you are doing this. So let's say if you are able to let's say accommodate let's say 500 odd message across the corresponding month there's a good chance that somebody will definitely refer you. And if their referral worked and the HR actually liked your profile, you will be able to get a shortlist call back, right? For this, you need to also ensure that your profile is as impactful as possible. In order to do that, you need to have your resume updated. But apart from that, you need to have your link updated as well. Plus, you need to have your GitHub updated as well. You need to ensure that whatever you are doing, even a small project, big project, whatever you are doing, you are putting everything on GitHub. This shows that you are an active contributor. This shows that you are an active learner. You are learning new technologies altogether. And of course, if you are somebody who is very enthusiastic about open source, Git profile is going to be something that is going to directly show the impact of your open source contributions. So make sure not just your resume, but your other online platforms are up to date as well. So you can see complete scenario. LinkedIn is kind of like the central place, which is going to fulfill all of the requirements for you. The type of content that you're going to consume on LinkedIn is going to actually decide what type of feed you are going to get. So let's say if you are scrolling for a lot of job opportunities, if you're liking and commenting on some job post, then you will get more similar recommendations altogether. One mistake that a lot of is try to write, I am interested, I am interested in a lot of posts. Trust me, if you will message, I am interested or comment, I am interested on let's say 100 posts, there's a good chance none of them is going to actually give you a reply back. You commenting, I'm interested, is just going to increase the reach of the post. They come back to you. All you have to do is, if there is a form or a job link attached, you apply there. Or let's say you try to get a referral for the corresponding uh, job role from the, let's say if the same uh, person is uh, actually ready to refer you or maybe a similar person who is working in the same company or the same org, and you, then you will be able to get it. Consider these posts as just awareness posts that, okay, some hiring is actually going on. Commenting I am interested is not to get you shortlisted. This is a straight known fact, but I don't know why a lot of people don't understand this. Keep always this thing in mind. Try to consume the right feed and make sure that whenever you see a job post, you as soon as possible apply to that. Don't think that, okay, I'm not ready. Maybe in one week I'll prepare and then I'll apply it. You will not even get a call back even if you apply now, if you apply one week after, because maybe your resume will not get shortlisted. But if you delay the process, then what happens is that you get a relaxation in your mind. And apart from that, 
not a lot of job profiles are open for a lot of days. Applying supply of software engineers is very high, demand is very less. So definitely some of the engineers from that already applied pool is going to get a call back. And if somebody converts the job, then you will actually lose the opportunity. See the opportunity, try to make sure that you're always prepared. I always say this to the people that try to be an interview ready person you should be ready for giving an interview, let's say maybe probably within two to three days. This should be the level of preparation that you need to technically target. And this is going to make sure that you use tools like LinkedIn very effectively in order to ensure you are getting the next callback for your job application. Now, apart from LinkedIn as a platform, I believe there are, as I already mentioned, there are a lot of Telegram groups, there are a lot of Discord groups who are actively posting about job opportunities. You do not need to, you, you will never want to miss these kind of groups or these kind of communities because it doesn't matter if they are, let's say, talking 100 random things, but they are putting one job posting that you will apply and get a short uh, call back, then your complete life is going to change. So make sure you are part of these communities. Apart from that, there are a lot of, uh, I would say, newsletters that actually post about weekly job postings on some, let's say, remote roles or let's say overseas roles and even roles in India. I'll try to list down a couple of them in the description section below. So do check it out. But my point being that you can try to subscribe to these newsletters who actually send weekly job opportunities also and you try to as soon as possible apply to them. Try to make sure that you're not just targeting big tech. See, getting your first job in big tech can be hard. But if you're targeting things in a more sequential way, that okay, I'll first probably work in a smaller organization, get some experience, maybe as an intern only, that should be okay. And then I'll slowly migrate to a slightly bigger organization, then I'll migrate to an even bigger organization. And slowly and steadily, I will uh, actually move towards the big tech. If you directly straightforward start applying to Microsoft or let's say Amazon, there's a good chance you will not get a shortlist callback because your resume is not ready for that situation. So these kind of newsletters who are actually posting about remote jobs or small startups can be your way to go for because in small startups, the competition is relatively less because lesser number of people actually know it and they want better executioners. And if your dev skills are on point, top notch, then you stand a very good chance in these kind of remote opportunities or in small startups. So keep that thing in mind always before applying for your next tech job. A few tips that you always need to keep in mind is that keep your resume updated. I have made a lot of videos on resume. A lot of other people have also made uh, uh, videos on resume. So in 2025, if you're still figuring out how to make a good tech resume, then there is some way you need to figure out all of those things. The resources are available. Keep your resume as updated as possible. Make sure that you are ready for an interview, even if the interview happens in, let's say, two to next two to three days. So your preparation should be always on point. Apart from that, try to indulge in communities which can help you to understand and know when the next tech job is coming up. And not just only apply for, let's say, big tech companies, but also try to apply for even small startups. Make sure that the projects that you have listed in your resume are as impactful as possible. Make sure your algorithmic skills are top notch. Nowadays, even if you see people who are actually applying for, uh, let's say, SD3 roles, they are also asked a lot of DSA rounds, at least two to three DSA rounds, they are also seen. So nobody is prone from DSA. DSA is something that you have to have to do, so you cannot lose on that. And if you keep all of these things in mind and make your portfolio attractive enough, make your resume attractive enough that people are ready to give you an opportunity, you will be in a very good shape in this tough job market. Always ensure that your profile should look like a senior, disciplined and a hardworking engineer. You do not want to look like a lead coder. You do not want to look like a person who just watches tutorial and doesn't. You need to picture yourself that you are a deep technology person. You know how to write good, scalable, maintainable code. You know how to solve problems in different, different situations. And you are an ever learning person. You are daily, monthly, weekly, every time you are learning new skill sets that will be very, very crucial for your upcoming job. If you are able to showcase all of this, your next tech job is not far from you. I guarantee. So that was it all for this particular. If you are able to resonate with my thoughts, do let me know in the comment section. I would be happy to answer if you have any questions as well. That being said, let's wrap this particular video here and we're going to meet soon in the next episode where we are going to continue our discussion on tech and career. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. I'm Sarkeet Singh, signing off.